Hey everybody, uh, Lyle here again. And this video is going to be uh, not really a continuation of the previous one I did on how to use one of the commercial versions of Beaver Builder to create uh, footers, uh, footer widget area and footers uh, or any other item you want to place in the hook locations using Dynamic Website Builder and uh, Genesis uh, Child Theme. Well, I was doing some work um, with another uh, page builder, shall we say, and uh, trying a few different approaches. And that got me to thinking, well, you know what? I do believe I can come up with a... Uh, way to do this without expending uh, any currency. In other words, a completely no cost version of doing so. And that would be using uh, items that are freely available on the WordPress repository, uh, both theme and uh, plugins. So with that in mind, I went about trying it, and uh, there was a few little hiccups along the way, and uh, I think I've come up with a workable solution uh, that's not overly dangerous, and as we get into it, I'll explain what I mean by that. Um, what I'm going to be using here right now, I'll just go show you on the back end. By the way, this is a fresh install of uh, WordPress 4.6 running on XAMPP on Windows 10 uh, with not a whole lot of stuff in it. And let's go into the back. Oh, I'm already uh, in the back end. Uh, for the appearance, what we have for themes is a uh, generate press with a generic uh, child theme for generate press. And that is available uh, from Generate Press. And I'll supply the uh, link uh, in the video and on the website. Uh, but it's basically http colon slash slash generatepress.com slash api slash themes generate press underscore child dot zip. And it is a basic uh, bare bones child theme and the reason we're going to use this is because we're going to be placing some PHP uh, in the theme child themes uh, function dot PHP file now I had thought about using uh, Tom Osborne's uh, other handy uh, little free plugin called simple PHP uh, the same Tom from Generate Press. As you can see, I've got his simple CSS plugin loaded here as well. Because uh, we're going to need that. Just for a little snippet uh, of CSS to do some hiding for us. But anyways, I was going to use the uh, simple PHP one to do this instead of the child theme. But then I was uh, got the thing that, gee, that's kind of dangerous to leave uh, that laying out in this location. It would be here somewhere. And uh, that's just a little bit too handy to have uh, PHP laying about uh, where somebody might unintentionally go and modify it. At least with the child theme, you have to go uh, somewhere very explicitly uh, for an example like here to go to the editor and then you have to select theme functions function PHP as you can see we have nothing in there yet but so I thought well that's going to be um, probably the safest way to do this other than uh, use a couple of paid items, but I wanted to keep this uh, totally cost-free. And what I initially thought, well, 
uh, for 10 bucks, you can buy uh, uh, Tom's uh, GP hooks uh, add-on, generate press hooks, uh, which gives you a nice tidy place uh, to put a short code directly without having to worry about using PHP. As we all know that one misplaced uh, character can give you the white screen of death. And we want to avoid that uh, at all possi <laughs> uh, possibilities. And then I thought, well, you know, that or, uh, you know, go for broke and get the whole GP uh, premium add-on, but which is still not a bad deal. It's actually an excellent deal. But I wanted to keep it uh, no cost, and this is the way uh, I decided to do it for this video. There may be other ways, uh, but let's go ahead and uh, do this this way. So, as you can see, I've got uh, just standard. I made a home page, and then just a sample page, and it's basically the, the same WordPress stuff you get in the standard install. And uh, I did the uh, menu, of course, and that's about it. Now, I don't want to go show you the plugins that I have. Well, there's only three. One is Beaver Builder Lite from the WordPress plugin repo and Tom's Simple CSS, are also available there at the WordPress plugin repository. And there is one other one, and that's the one that's going to make this work. Or there might be other ones, but this one works, and it's up to date. So with that in mind, let's go create a footer. And for our footer, uh, we're going to use Beeper Builder. And I'm going to call this footer. And that's about all we need to do. I like to go publish that first before I launch Page Builder, Beaver Builder. And uh, no, we don't need that. Row layouts, we're going to do three columns. And the first thing I want to do is go uh, fix up the row. And I want to make it full width. And I'm just going to give it a color. I'm just going through uh, the process here. I'm not going to... Um, spend a lot of time stylizing it or anything particular just to show you how to do it. And something lighter like that so I don't have to change the text color. I'm lazy. I'm going to keep this going quick. And the next thing is a text editor. We're going to pop in here. And again, like in the other video, I'm going to call this about. And then blah, blah, blah. And we'll make that, what, two? Sure, why not? And duplicate that. And again, drag it over here. Just click somewhere in there. You should be able to. Sometimes it does that. I don't know why. Uh, subscribe. All you have to do is click somewhere else or hover over somewhere else and it'll come back and this one we're going to call follow where you could put some social follow icons and whatnot all there so let's say that's our footer for that part uh, what do we want to do well let's add another row uh, in the other one I made the, this in two separate items but as somebody mentioned on the Beaver Builder Facebook group that they did it in one and that's entirely doable too. And the reason I did it the other way is just to show you uh, that you can do it, uh, how to do it with two. But anyways, same thing, full width, uh, just the color, pick a color. And uh, let's see what else. Uh, something bluish, greenish. Uh, it's a little, uh, a little lighter, so we can see. Okay, and again, I'm too lazy to go get another one, so we'll just drag this one down here and edit this to say copy right. Oops, help if I can spell it right. Right, info. 
etc. Just center that and save it. Okay, so now we have our uh, footer widgets and our what used to be is this, and we're going to use CSS to hide the existing uh, footer area or site info as its class is in Generate Press. And of course, again, you can play around with sizes and whatever you want in there, but that's not the point. It's just to show you how to go about it. So let's go down, publish changes. And back here, and I'm going to do this while we're here. I'm going to do a new one. And I'm going to call this one top bar. And because I'm going to add a second one, I'm going to put one above the header in a location. Uh, if you want to put a banner or whatever you'd like up on the very top of your web website. And again, row layout. This is going to be just a simple one. Okay, and we want it full width, color. And this one, I'm going to make it a little like that so we can see it. And I will go and put some text in there. And by now, whoops. Now, okay, let's make that heading one, center, and white, or whatever you want. And that's going to be on the top, across your site. Done, and publish changes. And so we have now our Beaver Builder Light created content that we're going to put in some hook locations. But you're saying, hmm, well, how are you going to get those pages in there? And well, that's, I guess I can show you now. That's where Insert Pages plugin comes in by Paul Ryan. And uh, works quite nicely too. So, before, just to get going on that then, uh, there's no point in beating around the bush. Let's get right oops, into the uh, functions. Uh, you really don't need to know anything uh, more about that plugin or make any changes to the settings. Uh, you just use the default settings and it works fine right out of the box. Now, again, with this code, I'll be posting it in the video and also on the site but I've got these uh, snippets from the uh, generate press uh, knowledge base from their hook list so I'll just uh, paste it in and we'll just go through it now generate press before header that's the hook location we want for the top bar and here's the page name the slug which will be top bar and between these brackets the square brackets this is the insert pages short code now if you're using one of the hook uh, plugins from Tom uh, you just place this uh, short code uh, where you want it but uh, because we're doing it this way, uh, we need to do the add action uh, where we want to put it, uh, in which hook location, it's before header, and uh, my function name, I just called it my top bar, and and then to echo do short codes and that. So while we are here, let's go ahead and add the second one that I've already created and paste that here and it's basically the same except it's before footer is the hook location and I called it my footer as the function name and again here's the page name page equals footer now one thing I'll point out here is when you initially create these short codes uh, with 
the plugin, it will add a single quotes around the uh, the footer and or the pardon me the page name and display equals where there's content or all and you have to remove those um, or you'll get the dreaded white screen of death and ask me how I found that out uh, just so here we are this is we finished putting in our two hook locations before header short code and I think I did update the file but I'll do it again and if you do update file and you don't get a white screen uh, well things are looking good so let's go and see how that turned out here we are in the front let me go refresh why look at that there's our banner up on top in the top bar there's our footer widgets and our footer now the only thing we need to do is get rid of that let's go back and do that in simple CSS and I'll just do it the manual way site there dot site dash info and the old display colon none semicolon dupe brace save changes and let's go back and refresh and there it is gone a couple of other things uh, I should mention too is that by default uh, the content you create with uh, Beaver Builder Lite uh, in the pages uh, is global and uh, just to show you what I mean uh, let's go to the uh, oh, we go to the uh, top bar page and uh, let's just go ahead and uh, change the color to oh I don't know say blue like that then publish changes and uh, come back out oh we'll look at the uh, refresh here and now you see it's blue so by default um, anything you create in those pages uh, if you update it there uh, it's automatically propagated throughout the whole site uh, now you could probably get away and uh, create a non well it still be global but uh, you could use them in a non-global method by inserting the uh, uh, insert pages short code within your content uh, in Beaver Builder itself. So uh, that was uh, just uh, one thing I wanted to mention. And the other one is, we'll go into the back, into the editor, and into uh, functions. And that's when you're creating this or copying and pasting, uh, please use note or notepad plus plus would be the preferred one if you're on Windows and the plain text editor if you're on a Mac something like text wrangler that's the only one I've ever used uh, depending on how you have the uh, text edit app set up on the Mac uh, it can change these quotes the single quotes to uh, the pretty quotes and that will just ruin things totally and nothing will work so always use a plain text editor uh, when you're dealing with this so there you have it a completely cost-free way uh, to use the beaver builder light version to create um, the content for footer widgets or footer or batter or uh, any of the other hook locations and if you look around there on the uh, generate press site I'll put the link there too as uh, Tom has a, a hook location uh, diagram uh, that shows you where you could put all this cool stuff and Beaver Builder Lite is uh, it's fairly robust by itself you can do a lot of things with it without uh, uh, using any of the other uh, 
add-ons. I think there's some add-ons that work with the light version. I'm not sure. I haven't used any myself uh, other than just using the uh, pro version or standard version. Uh, but there you see it. Everything's it works on all pages. And if we go back and squeeze it down to see what it looks like responsive, looks like it works just nicely there. And yeah, so uh, now <laughs> for any of you that are on a budget or are doing sites for people on budgets, for example, uh, pastors, ministries, churches, uh, friends that <laughs> maybe aren't friends or won't be friends, but you know, I mean, those uh, people on uh, on a limited budget that uh, want something that look a little bit better. But anyways, uh, that's about it for now. So uh, thanks for watching. And where's the F10?